brief history of the West Coast Main Line or WZML for short. The, the West Coast Main Line is the most important uh, railway corridor in the UK. The majority of the route runs from London to Glasgow, which is 399 miles or 642 kilometers. It opened from 1837 until 1869. The Glasgow to Edinburgh via Carstairs line connects to the West Coast Main Line to Edinburgh. However, the, uh, the main London to Edinburgh route is the East Coast Main Line or ECML. Much of the line has a maximum speed of 125 miles per hour or 201 kilometers per hour uh, for tilting trains. The class 390 Pendolinos and the class 221 Super Voyages have these tilting mechanisms to travel at speed. Um, other, other trains are limited to 110 miles per hour or 177 kilometers per hour. The West Coast Main Line was not originally conceived as a single track uh, route, but as a number of separate lines built by different companies between the 1830s and the 1880s. After the completion, after, after the successful completion of the Liverpool to Manchester Railway, in 1830 schemes were followed uh, from their success the first stretch of which uh, that is part of the now west coast main line was from the grand Junction grand junction railway connecting connecting liverpool and manchester to birmingham via crew stafford and wolverhampton which opened in 1837 the following year, the London and Birmingham Railway was completed, connecting it to the capital via Coventry, Rugby and Watford. The Grand Junction and uh, London and Birmingham Railways shared a Birmingham terminus at Curzon Street, so um, it was possible for the trains to travel between London, Birmingham, Manchester and Liverpool. These lines amalgamated in 1846 uh, to form the London and North Western Railway or LNWR. Uh, three sections of it, the North Union Railway between Wigan and Preston the Lancaster and Preston Junction Railway and the Lancaster and Carlisle Railway were absorbed into the LNWR. North of Carlisle, the Caledonian Railway remained independent and opened its main line from Carlisle to Betock on the 10th of September 19, 1847, connecting to Edinburgh in February 1848 and to Glasgow in November 1849. In 1948, following nationalisation, the line came under the control of British Railways, London, Midland and Scottish regions, when the term West Coast Main Line came into use officially, although it had been used informally since at least 1912. As part of the 1955 modernisation plan, the line was modernised and electrified in stages between 1959 and 1974. A new set of high-speed long-distance services were introduced in 1966, launching uh, British Rail's highly successful intercity brand. But then the privatisation of British Rail intervened under uh, which the uh, Virgin Trains won a 15-year franchise in 1996 for the running of long-distance 
express services on the line. That was actually extended uh, and they ended up running it for um, 23 years, which um, they finished in uh, December 2019. And before that, the um, uh, Intercity had a trial of the um, APT, which is Advanced Passenger Train. Uh, that wasn't a success for several reasons, but they had mechanisms that tilted similar to the Pendolinos and the Super Voyagers. Modernisation plan unveiled by Virgin and the new infrastructure on the rail track involved the upgrade and renewal of the line to allow the use of tilting Pendolino trains with a maximum line speed of 140 miles per hour or 225 kilometers per hour in place of previous maximum speed of 110 miles per hour or 177 kilometers per hour. In August uh, 2019 the Department for Transport announced the first Trenitali uh, West Coast Rail, trading as Avanti West Coast, was the successful bidder of uh, bidder. Avanti West Coast commenced operation of the franchise on the 8th of December 2019.